Hello, and welcome to Snap Center Software, NetApp's latest data protection and manageability solution. You can use Snap Center to perform backup, clone, restore, and verification jobs for multiple applications and databases, which are combined into a single, easy to use interface with powerful role based access control. In today's dynamic IT environment, there is an ever increasing attention being paid to security controlling both what kinds of activities the users can perform and providing access to only those resources necessary are vital. For usability purposes, a data protection tool like SnapCenter that supports multiple applications and databases must be able to isolate the interface to only those objects necessary to each user or group of users. SnapCenter role-based access control consists of two components, roles and access. Roles govern the actions that can be performed, and Access controls what resources those actions can be performed upon. Let's log into Snap Center and take a look from the administrator's perspective. As you can see, I'm logged in as the Snap Center administrator with a Snap Center administrator role. Here you can see that as the overall administrator, I have access to all the application and databases configured within Snap Center environment. But what if I want to restrict views or delegate rights to a different user? Let's take a look at how to do this. As previously stated, Snap Center role based access control consists of two components roles and access. Let's look at roles first. Roles are sets of permissions or operations that can be performed by a user or a group of users assigned. There are several sample roles included within Snap Center that can be modified or copied and customized. New roles can also be created. By the way, a user can be assigned to more than one role. In that case, when logging in, that user will be able to select the assigned role they wish to log in with. Here we have created roles that are specific to Oracle, and SQL Server databases. For this role, we can view the specific permissions granted and the user or groups assigned. Here we see that we have granted this role to the SQL Admin Active Directory group, so that any member of this group that logs into Snap Center will be granted these privileges. It's important to note that users themselves are not created within Snap Center. Snap Center relies on Active Directory users and groups. This keeps the user credential model simple to manage. Now that we have covered how you can control what kinds of things a user can do, let's discuss what resources they can perform those actions upon. Here is the list of assets we can control access to. They include hosts, plugins, policies, resource groups, and storage connections. Here we see a list of hosts that have been configured within Snap Center. As you can see below, access to this host is limited to the SC admin and the users in the Oracle admin Active Directory group. Correspondingly, access to this host is limited to the SC admin and the users in the SQL admin Active Directory group. Now that we've seen how Snap Center provides control over the permissions one has, roles, and the resources they can work with, user access, let's see what the results are. Let's log out and log in as a SQL Server user. Oracle is not even an option for the SQL admin to see. As we look at each of these groups of resources, we can see that any reference to Oracle has been filtered out from the interface and strictly controlled. In summary, we've seen how though Snap Center can provide consolidated data protection from many applications and databases, the interface iteration and security can be tailored to each user or group of users. Thank you.